Here I'll show you how to prevent any kind of shape, buttons, images, or whatever, speech bubbles, doesn't matter, any kind of shape in Excel from moving or resizing when you move or resize the cells behind it. So here I have a button. If I go like this, the button gets a bit wonky. You can see it's not terribly helpful. So now I have an ugly button. All right. Let's back that up and fix my button. All you have to do is right click it, go to Format, Shape, and right over here, we can go to the right, the Size and Properties, and go to Properties. And here you have Move and Size with Cells. That is the default option. That's why it changes its shape and size when you adjust columns and rows. We have move but don't size with cells, which means it'll be repositioned, but it'll keep its same size no matter what, or don't move or size with cells, which means that the button will never move from its current position. Now, you don't always want this one because it, when you're adding and removing data, your buttons will stay in the same place and it can look kind of weird. So I'd say play around with it based on your data set and choose either this one, move but don't size with cells, or this one, don't move or size with cells. So when I choose this, you can see now we go over here and I can adjust the size of columns and rows and all is good. You can also get to the size and properties just right here above format shape. It's the same window. And even though I just used a button for this example, yes, you can use for many other shapes on the insert tab under now illustrations. You've got all sorts of things you can apply this to. So that's it. Easy peasy. Right click the shape, format the shape. Go to Size and Properties, drop down the Properties section, and choose one of the options there.